All right, so today I'm just going to be showing you uh, really quickly how to add a lip to a building. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly build a really basic building. It doesn't have to be amazing. I'm just going to show you how to how to do the thing. All right, so just imagine these are windows. Like I say, you don't have to be really precise with this. I'm just showing you. So yeah, we're just going to imagine that these are a couple of windows on the front of a house. Don't don't um don't don't judge me on the quality of this product right here. This this, this is this is very much not the final piece. All right, we don't have to be specific with windows. Here we are. All right, that's the front of our house. Now we need to give it a roof. So quick way to do that: just press Control, push Portal, bring it up a little bit. There we go. Now we're gonna go from about here up to the center point of there and uh, click on the right tool, push pull tool, there we are. Alright, so we've got a basic roof going on here. What we're going to do is we're just going to join up these edges nice and quick. There we are. Now on this edge here, it can be any any one of the corners you like. What we're going to do is we're just going to draw a box. So we've got a bit of extra material on the side there, nice and easy. And we're going to follow the contour of the roof, like that. At the end of this, we can bring it in like that. Let's get rid of the excess material like that. Okay, that's all well and good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this round so nice and easy. Just select either the top or the bottom line, so that one or that one. Hold down Shift and just select the rest of them all on the way around. There we are. Once we've done that, once we've selected all of them, go up here, click on the Follow Me tool, and then click on the excess bit of material that you drew, and we'll have a nice lip around the side. Now, in order to make this look perfect, because it does follow the contour of the roof, but in order to make this look perfect, we can just join up the edges like that. And that give us a nice sort of overhanging roof. It looks pretty realistic to me. Um, you may want to do other things with the Follow Me tool. For example, you can add um, guttering, like drain pipes and things. Um, I'll show you how to do that really quickly. Now, guttering usually hangs just slightly off the edge of the roof. So what we'll do is we'll use this as our guide. Okay. Doesn't like me at the moment. There we are. I'm just going to increase that a little bit in in width. Take so out the center. Okay, right now, I'm just going to go from here. That's oh, not very big. To here, like so. To add the guttering, really simple, really quick. Just get rid of that, just get rid of that. Give it something so it's got something to hold on to. About there. And there. Go ahead and get rid of that. Now on the inside of this we're going to need to put a another bit of a contour. Um, I used the offset tool and just dragged the line on the inside there for that. Just zoom in, let's get rid of these excess lines on the sides and just join it up to the top. Like this isn't this this isn't professional guttering, so if there's any builders out there watching this, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Alright, so that's the basic start of our guttering. Once again we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Select the lines on the way around. Make sure you get all of them, because the last thing you want to do is miss out one and it only goes so far around. There we are. And that one there. Okay. Now I have noticed I've made a bit of an error. I forgot to do that. So we're going to select the lines once more. So, okay. 
now I've made less of an error, we can uh, hopefully see if this works. Click on the follow me tool once you've selected the lines, and boom, there we go. Our building has guttering. It's quite cool, actually. I like it. For once, something's turned out right. <laughs> Right, just to add a finishing touch, we might as well give it a couple of textures. Yeah, just a nice bit of colour here and there. A nice, nice weird looking, I don't know, Balamori kind of house. Yeah, let's give it a, you know, a weird looking roof. Who cares about that? So yeah, that's the quick and easy way of adding um, lips and extra bits to your buildings that you need. Um, if you need something to follow the edge of a building, like guttering, for example, or a roof lip at the edge of the roof there. Yeah, just use the follow me tool. It's it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. That's pretty much all the same thing in one go there. Quick, easy, no hassle. And uh, yeah, there you go. You have a house, you have some guttering, so if it rains, at least the water won't drip on the floor. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, remember to comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment them below. Um, my name is Mark, Soulfly Concepts, and well, I'll catch you later, everyone.